All right, YouTube, like and subscribe immediately because I have splendid stories that have happened in my life. Thank you. And check out my music too. So let's get right into this. So I started balding when I was probably a sophomore in high, uh, not high school, sophomore in college, right? I'm 24 right now. I graduated college about two years ago. So at the time when I was balding, I was probably around, let me think, 20 years old, I believe. Um, and obviously over time, it got worse and worse. Right. So there are multiple reasons in why I started balding. I'll explain. I have theories. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but here's the five reasons. First of all, genetics. Um, but let me give a little background in regards to the genetics. My father still has all his hair. My grandfather on both sides both still had their hair up until one of them died. Uh, he still had his hair. Uh, and then my other grandfather is still alive and still has all his hair. So that's something you have to keep in mind. It's probably an like offshoot of, you know, somehow the genetics or whatever. My brother, he still has a full head of hair. So it's probably like some genes of, of part of the genetics that I got that because also considering I'm the only one in my family that has blue eyes and I don't look too much like my family. So I probably got random other genes uh, within my family genetics, which so happen to maybe carry that gene of balding. So, but remember, I believe that's only one aspect out of these other combos. So I have pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, which is the highest form or could be the highest functioning form of autism spectrum disorder. So I am really high functioning to the point where I'm almost considered <clears throat> or could be considered normal and not have any disorder but keep that in mind though i am technically diagnosed with it right and i believe this is a theory uh that it could be that um i don't know if you all notice but take this observation now that i mentioned it to you um is there's a lot of, from what I noticed, there's a lot of other autistic males that bald more than average, more than the average person. I believe it's because we're deficient in certain vitamins, which is true. If you do the research, uh, autistic people uh, lack certain vitamins. Same with schizophrenic people, uh, people with dementia and old age. Uh, I know that they all, all those four, um, lack the vitamin B12. And I ended up getting the correct levels of B12 because I had a psychiatrist or have a psychiatrist that does a more natural approach by making sure people get their, uh, their correct natural vitamin levels through either food slash diet and or uh, um, over-the-counter vitamins. Um, and how to measure that is you get your blood levels tested to see what you are deficient in or have too much of. Um, so vitamin B12 obviously was something that I was deficient in. Um, but you may be thinking, wait a minute, that doesn't really have much to do with hair growth. Um, but there were other vitamins that me and other autistic people uh, can be deficient in, like magnesium. That's something important uh, in hair growth. And then there were certain other uh, important um, uh, vitamins that I was deficient in um, in regards to hair growth and stuff. So 
I believe it's also that. So that's two reasons. So a third reason is I do not eat well. I eat fast, a lot of fast food, a lot of crappy food. Uh, but at the same time, I do also eat decent food um, and average food. Uh, that's not too bad for you. Um, but the thing is, is I don't have the full palate going on. I don't, I haven't ever since I've gone to call, like started going to college, I had like barely any vegetables, which vegetables are important, not only for hair growth, but a lot of other things. So I believe that could be a big contributor is because I'm not having the greens for the vegetables in order to help that hair growth. That's something I need to work on and need to get going. Ever since, uh, I think towards the end of college or after college, yeah, after college is when I started to decide to take a men's multivitamin because I knew that I wouldn't be able to, at the time, be consistent uh, with eating healthier food and a healthier diet in order to obtain all those vitamins I need, not only for hair growth, but just in general. Um, so also another thing I decided to start taking, this was like several months ago, is vitamin B complex. I thought that maybe would help with my hair growth, and I thought wrong. Another thing, uh, oh wait, let me, let me first finish all my points before getting into the different strategies I did in order to attempt to help my hair growth. So one more thing was uh, that um, when I first started balding happened to be the same time when I happened to use the most drugs I've ever used in my life. Um, it was one semester, first semester of sophomore year of college, which I used a lot. Meaning I didn't, I wasn't addicted to anything or really, but I was just experimenting in a lot of stuff which I think actually contributed in that as well, the balding. So I believe it's all of those points. Genetics, not even eating enough vegetables, um, being autistic, uh, and drug use. Um, oh, then there's one last one I almost forget forgot this is important um so i didn't know up until literally a few months ago that you do not wash your hair with shampoo every day i used to do that every day i had no idea that actually damages your hair and you need to only shampoo once every two to four days so I started doing that ever since I found out. What happened was it was in January. I was on a family uh, trip. And it was the very beginning of January. And they were like, uh, I forget what we were talking about and how it got brought up or whatever. And I was like, what? You you don't sh shampoo every day? And they were like, what? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to shampoo every day. It's bad for you, blah, 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 this, that, this, that, this, that. So I ended up looking it up and they were completely right. And I was completely wrong. And I was ridiculous in doing that this whole time. So I believe that's another reason why I started bald. So it's those five reasons, right? Uh, I'm not, uh, there is a possibility that it could be only one reason or two reasons or three or whatever. But those are my theories and why it led to that. So there were different strategies I've tried to be able to get back on track in growing my hair. I did try just for a little bit to eat a little better, but I did that too little to be able to like tell, uh, which I think that's one big thing I'm going to work on real soon is to be able to eat better, eat more vegetables, et cetera, et cetera, to help this hair growth happen. Also, especially before it's too late, you know? Um, so other strategies I tried is biotin sh shampoo. That actually did help a little bit, but not enough. Uh, and I'm continuing to do so and keeping on doing that. Another thing too is, 
I tried, yeah, the multivitamin. I tried vitamin B complex. Those seem to help in other ways, but not hair growth of my knowledge. Uh, those helped my energy levels uh, and other things, but not hair growth of my knowledge. So far, the only thing I've noticed that helps with my hair growth is the biotin shampoo a little bit. Um, but then there was, after trying all that stuff, um, I just felt kind of hopeless in regards to hair growth and I kept on forgetting and or not pursuing trying to eat vegetables and using that as a cure. So I ended up resorting to Rogaine. I don't know if you all know what Rogaine is, but Rogaine, let me look up the key ingredient. Um, a lot of people... Yeah, so the the key ingredient is called mino, minoxidil. minoxidil. Uh, so the brand name that I happen to use is Rogaine. So it did not work for me. Maybe it works for other people. But I ended up doing a lot of more research on it uh, like about a week after I started it. After a week of using it, I decided to not use it ever again, and I sold it, and not I didn't bother with it ever again, because it actually made me significantly balder in those literal seven days. Uh, significant in the sense that, like, in the spot where I was balding, which is the top part of my head, uh, it was balder than it is, than it was before. In literally only those seven days. So what I did, what I ended up realizing from my research is that Rogaine is not, like I looked in forums and all that stuff instead of like all those positive fake reviews and stuff like that or biased reviews uh, that I ended up realizing it's actually not a good thing to use unless you're literally at your last year's of having your hair. So meaning if I were to be in my 40s or something like that and wanted my hair to spread out longer, you know what I mean? I wanted it to last extra years uh, before it balded. So let's say if it were to, if I were to fully bald in that spot uh, when I was 45 I would be able to extend that till 49 or so, you know, you know, um, but um, yeah, so it didn't work out. I have something else that's coming to my house. Uh, that's a more natural kind of resolution and natural ingredients in regards uh, to this hair regrowth. So I'm going to try that and I'll let y'all know if that works out or not at all. So I'm hoping it works out because this is quite risky and also what I think I believe I, or what I know I should do. What I know I should do is just simply eat broccoli and vegetables as well. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll let y'all know what it is. And sadly, Rogaine did not work at all for me. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.